This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, I'm currently at the intersection of Wetmore and Flowing Wells. Uh, we're looking at this uh, 2003 Ford F250. It's a 7.3 liter diesel, not a 6.0. It's uh, the first half of the year. They still made a few 7.3s, and this is the, one of the last ones they made. Um, 7.3 liter crew cab 4x4. It's an XLT. Has 119,000 actual miles on it. It's got really high rubber tires. It's got a few very minor cosmetic issues that don't need to be addressed. Um, it's got a couple tears in the seat that we're going to fix on Thursday. It's uh, Tuesday today. Or no, it's Wednesday. I'm sorry. The uh, 16th. We're going to fix them. Um, so you don't have to worry about that, but I will show what, show you what they look like now. Um, la, 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 la. This is a Jim Click Ford trade-in that we bought directly from Jim Click Ford. Um, they are not allowed to sell anything with over 100,000 miles on their used car lot. And Phil, their seller at the auction, uh, had a coronary uh, selling this vehicle. So he knows that it's worth a lot of money. Yeah, but their uh, financing won't let them sell this vehicle. So, that's why we actually bought a trade-in. It's on a clean title, it's actual miles. Here's the driver tire. There's the lift kit. That is a six inch lift right there. Um, that you're seeing. So it's got a six inch lift. You can tell it's running. Nice truck. It's got this type of stuff, little chips and whatever. The passenger fender is the one with the real issues, uh, if, if any issue. So this, a little touch-up paint would go a long way here. It's got a nice billet grill, fog lights. For some reason they got a lot of rock chips on this fender, on this front part of the fender, I guess. And it's got this right here. I know fenders for these things, aftermarket fenders are like 30 bucks. So if you wanted to fix it, you could buy a fender for almost nothing and probably have it painted by a good painter for two or three hundred dollars if you wanted to. something up here on the bed. Got a little something there on the bed. I don't know if you can see it or not in there. Passenger rear tire. The tires look like they have, uh, the rear tires look like they have about 50% tread. The front looks like they have about 75% tread. Probably fine to drive pretty much anywhere in the United States. Uh, if you wanted to take it home and drive home. Now remember, you're going to pay taxes and a dock fee of $250 if you, if you uh, pick it up here. Uh, we'll be well, we, we'd be glad to pick you up at the airport. Um, if you show up between 8 and 3 at the airport, Monday through Friday. Uh, we have kids and we close at 3 o'clock to go get kids. We open up the hood for you. There's the Ford emblem for the for this uh, passenger fender.
There's the Ford emblem for the uh, driver fender. Really straight truck. Guess I'll show you the roof here. Ugh. There's your roof. You got a fifth wheel hitch in the bed. There's a light connector in the bed. That's a spray in bed liner. Nice. It's got a locking tailgate too, which is nice. There's your tow package here. Got some cool exhaust tips too. Little dual exhaust. Door panels. Let's see. I'm not sure. I'm looking for the supposed rip in the interior and I'm not seeing it. Someone told me it had one. No? Oh, here it is. Right here on the back of the headdress. Oh, that's nothing. Uh, we'll get that fixed and that'll be probably about 80% better. Uh, but not perfect, but it'll be about 80% better. In. We gotta get going. Only got 10 minutes for a video and I'm a little behind time. Going slow today. Let's see. And it's hot today. It's about 80 today in Tucson. Alright. There's your mileage. 119.724. Truck's been running. I haven't run it for about two hours. Just to shake it down and make sure that everything's temperatures right. Oil pressures and everything else. They look great. Got overdrive. There's off and on. It's got uh, cruise control. There's tilt. Here's four wheel drive. Let's put it in neutral here. Put it in four wheel high. And there's four wheel high right there. See it there. And let me put it in drive. Yep, and now we're going forward. And we're going backwards. Turn the air down, it's a little loud. Um, let's see. We're gonna go to, I definitely felt that going to gear. There's low range, four by four, we're four low. Put it in drive, that's some torque. Lots of torque, now put it in reverse. Back up, there we go. Put it back in two wheel drive. We also have a trailer brake here. Up here, let's see if the radio works. There it is. There's the air, as you can hear that. Interior looks really, really good. Except for that tear behind the seat, which we're going to fix for you. Um, it's all there. I don't know what they had on this thing. This looks like some sort of mount for maybe a radar detector or GPS or something. I don't know. Let's put this wheel down here. This is a really nice truck. As we all know, the 7.3 is uh, legendary. So please be aggressive on this one. Uh, we've been selling, we sold three or four 7.3s in the last couple weeks and uh, on salvage titles. And get a lot of crying when it's over and people didn't bid enough so um, please let do a little research find out what these guys are really worth and bid accordingly please so that we don't have uh, have any tears I'm trying to block the sun there for you so you can read the gauges anyway we advertise on the internet, we're the real deal. Um, this is not a scam. This is what we do. A lot of people worry about, you know, this whole thing, and you know, hopefully we'll get a reputation after a couple months, you know, more of this. We've been doing this for five years on eBay, but uh, check us out, please. I'm out of time. Uh, it's a cool truck. Zero worries. Thank you.